Welcome everybody to our ceremony today. Where we're going to officially, we've been calling it the coronation, where we're officially going to promote uh, Chief Armser to um, our fire chief. We're going to start off today by saying the Pledge of Allegiance, so if you'll all rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. So the next thing item on our agenda is the invocation, and that's going to be delivered by Captain Nathan Chapman. If you'd bow your heads, please. Almighty God, I pray for the men and women of the Lynchburg Fire Department. Unite them as one in a spirit of service and camaraderie. Sustain them in their work serving the citizens of Lynchburg. Encourage them and grant them safety. Give them strength and wisdom for every task they may encounter. Be with Greg Wormser as he assumes the position of fire chief. Endow him with every grace and wisdom of leadership as he assumes the new position. Watch over him and his family through all things encountered while serving as fire chief. Grant him and all members of the department success in every good endeavor so their mission might be accomplished and allow every member of the team to find satisfaction in the important work they are doing on behalf of their city and neighbors. In your holy name, amen. well-oiled machine up here good afternoon everybody all right let's try that again come on it's four o'clock it's the end of the day for some of us or maybe not good afternoon all right awesome so today is a really special day in the life of our city today is the day that Greg Wormser former deputy chief a member of the Lynchburg fire department officially becomes the city's 10th fire chief Following what seemed like a very long recruitment period, which included countless listening sessions between department staff and myself, both in groups and individually, I am proud to have chosen Greg Tex Warmser to be the city's fire chief. Greg brings fresh new leadership to the department and I am extraordinarily proud of him as he emerged as the top candidate from a pool of 30 applicants. He is well respected in the community and among his colleagues in public safety. In preparing my remarks, I reflected on the recruitment profile. The ideal candidate for, the, for this position is as follows. The city of Lynchburg is seeking an innovative, proactive leader who will be an advocate and champion for the department. The successful candidate will foster collaborative relationships within the organization, as well as the community at large, bringing people together to achieve city council's goals and its stated priority of a safe and vibrant community through partnerships, planning, and prevention. The fire chief is the public face of the fire department and is a participant in regional and state public safety efforts. The fire chief must balance their commitment to the department as well as the city as a whole. The fire chief must be equipped to exercise leadership at all times and creates an expectation that the work environment is one where all employees are respected and treated equitably. I have absolutely no doubt that we have found that ideal candidate in Greg Wormser. Based on the past 10 weeks or so of working more directly with Greg, coupled with his work plan for the future, I am very pleased that this day is here and that we can collectively celebrate his official appointment as the 10th Chief of the Lynchburg Fire Department. While Chief Wormser has stated he is not one for pomp and circumstance, I thought it was very important to have a ceremony where he is officially pinned with his fire chief badge and is recognized by his colleagues, friends, and family. Congratulations and thank you, Chief Wormser. I am proud to work with you. I think we now do this. Having been appointed to the 
department of the city of Lynchburg. Do you solemnly swear? Do you solemnly swear? That I will support the Constitution of the United States of America. That I will support the Constitution of the United States of America. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia. And that I will faithfully discharge. And I will faithfully discharge. The duties of such rank according to the laws. The duties of such rank according to the laws. Regulations and orders. Regulations and orders. Governing the department. Governing the department. And will obey the orders and directions of my superiors. And will obey the orders and directions of my superiors. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. You are now official chief officer. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I was worried about uh, my speech being long, and then I took the oath of office, which seemed like it was way longer than my speech is going to be. So, <laughs> so greetings to everybody, and thank you. Um, at the risk of sounding like I just won an Oscar or a Grammy, no kids, I'm not going to sing. It's okay. Um, I want to thank a few folks that have made today possible. First, I want to thank the city manager. Um, who has the faith in me and supports me to execute the job of fire chief. Uh, I want to thank the many city leaders and city council members who are present here today. Each of you in your own way make the city of Lynchburg function with one goal in mind, and that is a great, way, great place to live, work, and play. I want to thank the many citizens who have reached out to support not only myself, but the entire organization as we have begun to move forward. I want to thank my mother, who's here from Texas, despite two major surgeries and likely another on the horizon. Uh, despite my best efforts, she did a really great job making sure my moral compass was pointed in the right direction, even though I didn't come with a user's guide. I want to thank my fire department family. I recognize that I need them way more than they need me. Every day they work tirelessly to serve our community by providing their gift of courage and compassion. Finally, I want to thank my beautiful family, Leighton, Meredith, and my supportive beautiful wife of 19 years, Rhonda. No matter the circumstances, when I come home, I receive their love, affection, and support. We're doing great things every day at the fire department besides answering 911 calls. We're engaged with our youth in the school system. We're engaged in our, with our businesses and pre-planning. We're engaged with our special needs population, including those who have repetitive care needs and those who have other special challenges. We're going to continue to be innovative in our approach to our community while not harboring the past but creating a new future. There are many opportunities for success, but we must remember that a chaotic approach is not always the right answer. Rather, our approach will be methodical and transparent. Since 1883, the Lynchburg Fire Department has existed to protect the citizens of Lynchburg. 
For anyone who knows the fire service very well, you also know that since 1883, we've been sharing stories of tradition and responses. I'm not a great storyteller, however our people are. They share their incredible experiences and personalities every day with each other and our city. Henry Ford once said, coming together is just the beginning. Keeping together is progress and working together is success. Together, we're going to rebrand what it means to be a member of the Lynchburg Fire Department by continuing to share our stories and working collaboratively as we move forward. There are many other folks here that are public servants and being a public servant is a calling. We have great people doing great things every day at the police department, at the Department of Emergency Services, at Public Works, at Human Services, and really throughout City Hall. Additionally, we have so many community volunteers and business partners throughout the city that serve, in, serve with the public and for the public in so many ways. As public servants, we need to remember that our primary responsibility is to serve our community. Regardless of what you do as your career or hobby, we are all public servants in a unique way. I challenge you to do something on a regular basis that takes you out of your comfort zone, engage in a simple conversation with someone, discover an opportunity at your workplace or home where improvement is possible, ask questions of your family and peers, and colleagues, and remember to be engaged. I may not be the best public servant, however, I am a public servant that promises to do his best. Make mistakes, I have, I've made plenty. Learn from them to be better for the next time. Follow the road less traveled. It will often take you on a journey that you do not expect and take you places that you didn't even know existed. I care deeply for this department and this community well beyond what I can adequately articulate today. I promise to provide you leadership that is sound, encouraging, and effective. It is truly my honor and my privilege to be your fire chief. Thank you. sweet around here. I'm gonna let you take that how you, how you want. Um, we have some cake and some snacks out front so we really appreciate if everybody joined us out there um, to have a little cake and punch and whatnot. So please take everybody take an opportunity to, to shake Texas hand, hug him, do whatever you want to but this is an important day for him so be part of it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.